All right, Ed, uh, just wanted to give you an update on uh, uh, the flooring. Uh, we popped the flooring in here make, to make sure it fit before we put the marmoleum on, and um, uh, we have some issues um, that we want to show you. Uh, you can see the floor bending back behind Tim's foot back here. Um, so we're going to add some support to the engine stringer. Yeah, there you go. That was actually when you got right in front of that one. And then also over here, uh, oh, yeah, okay. So over on the other side, you can see how much that's flexing. We're going to be adding a support along the engine stringer that would have probably been, or was probably there when, it, when the boat was built, but over, the, over time it's gotten removed. So we're going to be adding those. So these guys are okay. We've got to get some more uh, marine plywood for back here because uh, there wasn't any pieces made for back here, for back here. And these are the old pieces of pine board that are back there right now, which are pretty well rotted out, as you can see from that little corner right there. Um, then the next issue that we have is on this panel right here and the panel that's the front that goes under the front seat. You can see the gap along the edge, and um, we have trim to put there, but that gap right now is over an inch. And the trim pieces, which are down here on the trailer, all bundled together right here, are a half inch thick. So we know we're not going to, we know we're not going to uh, uh, be able to close that gap. So. Uh, we, we want about a three-eighths of an inch gap is what we want. We want some, some gap, but uh, so at any rate, uh, we're going to be replacing this panel and that, and that panel. Um, looks like the gap on the next uh, panel is going to be, oh, pull that back to the, I'm sorry, maybe that won't be right either. That's, that's real dicey. Uh, that is, uh, what, three-quarter of an inch? Yeah, five-eighths. Five-eighths. About the same on the other side. Yeah, so that one's dicey. Uh, we're not going to make it there. So we've got those three panels are going to have to be replaced. Um, so just wanted to let you know uh, we're going to replace these panels before we put, uh, before we put any marmoleum on them. So, uh, and we were looking for... The fuel tank vent, uh, we couldn't find it, so we're in a search for a used one right now. The uh, fuel tank vent line right here is this copper line, and it's all set up for the proper vent. So we're, and I've got one I can show you that's similar, although this owner had his vent chromed, and it's not supposed to be chromed, it's supposed to be bronze. But um, this is the fuel tank vent, um, it's got a screen in it, and uh, so that's what we're looking for. So I just want to give you an update uh, on those uh, on those issues. Thank you, sir.